city we're talking about? The two kids who beat up the school bus driver and their monitors, and then that girl in Georgia just was arrested, a six-year-old. I read something about it. So what do you I think? Had a, I had a funny story, man. It brought me back when I was in seventh grade. We had a teacher that had a... Um, Where'd you go to school, was, Alex? Uh, Taft Junior High. Okay. Crown Point. So we had this teacher. He was the nicest guy in the world. I don't know why people mess with him, but uh, right. he had two hearing aids. So uh-huh. what one kid did was got everybody in class to not say a word, and then he would act like he was talking to make the guy think that his hearing aids were, <laughs> <laughs> were on the foot. Kids could be and so then, nice, can't they? <laughs> right. But this guy, what people didn't realize was when it came down to it, this was when you still could. Right. Okay. And uh, he had a paddle with the holes in it. Sure. Well, he took you out into the hall, and he had the janitors make sure that the 20 feet on each side of his door were the most waxed floor you ever seen in your life because what he used to do was take his shoes off and slide into that butt. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, it, <laughs> no, that takes some mental powers to uh, to put that all together. Go, you know what, I, I, I need some sliding uh, to get my swing even better. And, and you know, remember how the doors were? They had the one little square window with the wire sure. so if it broke. So all right. you saw was this guy's bald head whiz by the window. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And a smack and a yelp and you just... It took the breath out of you. It took the breath out of you. I got it once, but <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, you know, it didn't kill you. And, and and if you were a smart kid, you didn't tell your parents the teacher hit you because you get it again when you got home. Right. Right. It, and I think I don't know if teacher. See, I I did a couple of years in Europe. Okay. Right. I, did, I I went to school in Europe. What they did there was they didn't go to the butt. Okay. They made you put all your fingers together. Right. Mm-hmm. And point them up. Like all your fingers, like all, right. all five fingers connected, and they would take a, a like a dowel stick, dowel rod, right, and smack the top of your fingers so Ooh. hard, and if you grew your nails out, if they were out just long enough, man, yeah, Ow. oh boy. But yeah. see, now that I'm older, I think that you just give the power back to the parents. You know, not all kids need to be disciplined like that, but the ones that you can't get it through their skull. Well, you know, I, I was you know, obviously, at one point. But I obviously, one, and if, then it got through my skull. If but. a kid is acting like that, though, if you're punching a bus driver and they're, you know, and you're seven and eight years old, obviously there's no discipline at home. I mean, uh, I mean here's right. here's what kept me from being a, a jackass as a kid, and not that I wasn't a jackass, was the jackass but a real jackass. Adults. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. The mm-hmm. fear that my father would kill me. Yeah. Literally. Oh yeah. You know, oh, I yeah. thought if I got, you know, if I did something too bad, he was going to kill me. Oh yes. Yeah, uh, it, it, and all it took was your mother to give you that look. Oh, if she went, my, you know, I grew up, my dad was a cop in Chicago. My mom would call the radio room and have my dad dispatched to our house to, to, to hit us. So if <laughs> if you saw a squad car pull up, man, kids were just flying out my I'll, house. I'll, I'll be 10-9 at home. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, I'll That's be 10-9 at home right. dispatch. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if, if your parents speak broken English, you're getting your butt whooped. Well, it, you know, my parents were old school Europeans, right. and they did not mess around. No, but but I mean, I think. What do you think, though? Should should they be allowed to? Uh, should physical punishment be brought back in the schools? Well, it's... Uh, to a to a to an extent, uh, to an extent, yeah. But I I think I think parents aren't doing it anymore because they're too scared of what you know. If your kid's acting up in the mall, you should be able to smack them in the mouth. You know, oh, so you think and, pa- and parents don't? Them, but. You think parents don't discipline because they're afraid that someone's going to think they're abusing their kid? Here's what I think: I think parents don't don't discipline their kids anymore because they want their kids to like them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to be friends with coming. their kids. Mm-hmm. My dad didn't need to be my friend. He no. had his own buddies. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's right. And if you yeah. said I hate you, Dad, he was like, "Good." Yeah. Because I hate you too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. You'll love me later when you realize what I've done for you. Yeah. When dinner time rolls around. <laughs> right. Right. So I, you know, you know when the last time I heard of a kid going to dinner without or going to bed without dinner? I haven't heard that in years. I mean, that they used to happen a lot. In my they don't even do that in Africa anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? They can scrunch up something easy for dinner for great sake. Right. But yeah, I think parents are too. Um, too scared anymore. Everybody's gotten so sensitive on, I mean, look at your parents, the way they turned out, right? They got right. their butt beat, man. Well, and so did look we. At the, look, at the, look at the times, how the generations have changed as, as people got more sensitive to, to, uh, to uh, taking your child into the corner, right. smacking them in the mouth and letting them cry it out. Exactly. You know? And, I know, and I'm not, so, I'm not uh, supporting uh, beating a kid, but you know what? A crack with a, 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 a my dad was very very, he never got emotional about it, because, and maybe because he was a cop and he was used to kind of keeping his cool. But he would look you. He, first of all, it was like a show. The other kids would sit on the couch because they were so glad they weren't getting it. Glad it wasn't. Yeah, that. Right. What was the worst uh, way you got it? 
Well, we all, always got it, and this is how, how it was. He he uh, made you go get the belt out of the closet. So that was that walk was a very yeah. The walk alone to the closet to his That's closet yeah walk. is a long walk. And then he would tell you beforehand, you're going to get X amount. It was generally like three or four, you know, five maybe if you did something really bad. And then the rule was, if you put your hands back there, and it hits your hands and not your not your butt, forget about it. That one doesn't count. Mm -hmm. And your mm -hmm. hands, well, I don't know, there's something that takes over that your hands automatically go back there, no yep. matter. And then your hands really hurt bad, and you go, mm -hmm. all right, I'd rather have it on my butt. You know how I got it? No. I used to get it with a wire hanger. I was the only kid Ooh. that wore long jeans in the summer. Ooh, a wire hanger. Is I that... hated my dad for it, and sometimes yeah. I still kind of cringe at it. Right. right. Oh, the wire hanger? But, uh, I'm thinking, <laughs> what if he didn't use that? What if I got it a little easier? Right. Would I have turned out, you know, no. my you know, my dad's proud of me now. You right. know, my dad's exactly. got a son that he's proud of. Right. How would I have turned out if he didn't whoop me to that point where I actually got the point? Right. You know, no kids so, nowadays. You know, they tell you, you know, go, you know, go to your room. Oh, that's fine. There's a TV and a video game and a telephone and a, you know, I'd like to go to someone's room. People with three bedroom <laughs> houses need a fourth bedroom that has nothing in it but rubber walls and right. Or right, you know, I remember too that you know sometimes I remember kids saying they'd have to go just sit in the closet for a while. Uh, I never had to I, do that. Never come out of the closet, that. Larry. <laughs> no, no. The, <laughs> Well, see, now I don't know how to answer. <laughs> Alex, thanks for the call, buddy. Oh, sure, no problem. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, that's what we're talking about. This is the big question of the day. Should uh, physical discipline be brought back to schools? Well, you, see, Nick, it's still on the Indiana law books. You do know that. What's that? F corporal punishment is still allowed in Indiana schools. Really? Yes. However, None of them do it, though, do they? Very few. However, it is... Um, well, it's a legal issue now. I mean, that that's for sure, and it has been for about the last 20 years, a legal issue. Some corporations will do it, very few anymore, and but most won't. Very few around here will. Afraid to get sued? Well, they can make the parents yep. sign something. Yep.